the Cisco firewall can work in transparent mode. Let's talk about that. First of all, what we normally do in the Cisco firewall and what we have done so far in this course is to run the firewall in routed mode. Routed mode is most common. If you run the firewall in routed mode, you can have two or more interfaces. The definition of a router in general is that a router connects different IP subnets. It means that each firewall interface in routed mode needs to be in different IP subnets, like in this topology here. If you try to configure two interfaces in the same subnet, you will get an error message. And what the firewall does is route traffic. So the firewall normally is a router with filtering capabilities. When the firewall runs in transparent mode, there are only two interfaces. You cannot have more than two interfaces active in transparent mode. That's a limitation. And both those interfaces need to be in the same IP subnet. In transparent mode, the firewall does not route traffic. Instead, it bridges traffic. You can see it as a switch. The firewall works like a switch with only two interfaces and the IP subnet is split in two halves. The firewall knows which devices are on which side of the firewall based on the MAC addresses. So it learns MAC addresses just like any switch. But even though the firewall does not route traffic, it still can handle traffic based on ports and protocol. So you can see the firewall in transparent mode as a bridge that can look deeper into the packets to base their forward decision on. So we create a firewall with two interfaces and we can build and create access lists on those two interfaces, normally inbound access lists on each of those two interfaces. And in these two access lists, we can permit or deny traffic based on IP address, source, destination, ports, and protocols. I will show you now how to do that. One important command, firewall transparent. This is the magic command that turns your router to a switch, that turns your firewall from routed mode to transparent mode, firewall transparent. So let's have a look at how that works. To configure the firewall in transparent mode, I recommend you to find the configuration guide on cisco.com. If you Google for Cisco ASA transparent mode configuration, you will probably find this document or a newer version of it that explains how to configure transparent mode. There are a few things to remember. There are a lot of limitations in transparent mode. You cannot run VPN when the firewall is in transparent mode and only two interfaces, as I said. And there are a few more functions that does not work fully in transparent mode that is mentioned in this document. Uh, the document describes very good how to set up the firewall in transparent mode. In the configuration part, you will see that you will configure the BVI interface, interface BVI. On the BVI, which is a virtual bridge interface, you set up the IP address with a net mask. And after that, you configure the physical interfaces and you go into configuration mode on two interfaces. You go into two interfaces on the firewall and on each interface you set the command bridge group and the number of the BVI you just created. That command connects the interface to that bridge group and you need to set the two interfaces to the same bridge group, the same bridge group that you created the BVI interface for just before. You must set name if and you must set security level, but you cannot set IP address on the physical interfaces. So that's the big difference. And after configuring the two interfaces in bridge groups and setting name if and security level, the firewall starts to bridge traffic between the two interfaces. And everything else is optional. For example, setting access list on the interfaces. I recommend you as always to set an inbound access list on each of the two physical interfaces and filter traffic there. And you can filter traffic based on anything that you could do in routed mode, like source and destination ports and protocols. 
This is the easy way to set up a firewall in transparent mode, and you might wonder why you should ever do that. Let's say that you have a server connected to a network, and you want to see what's happening on the line, on the network interface level, and you cannot configure a sniffer on that server, then you can set the firewall in transparent mode. Imagine that you configure the firewall in transparent mode, and allow all traffic, you permit IP any any in both interfaces, then the firewall will not block anything, and you will be able to run the packet capture command to see what's going through the firewall, and you can granularly block and permit traffic based on what you see. And the main reason for using transparent mode is if you need to set a firewall in line without reconfiguring the subnets on any interface. So you can see the firewall as a bump on the wire, that's why it's called uh, transparent. If you configure it to allow traffic, it will be totally invisible and transparent. And you can, after that, start to filter traffic. So the transparent firewall mode is very powerful, and I recommend you to try it and use it.